Hey, this is Ray with NTI. This video is the second video of a five-part demo series of Backup Now Easy 5. In this demo, I will be discussing the benefits of cloud backup. So first, a quick lesson on cloud storage. So what is cloud storage? The cloud is a remote storage location consisting of thousands of hard drives called a data center. The data centers are housed all over the world and are managed by storage providers that give users access to the storage through the internet with a login account. So why do I need it? To me, it's for all the what ifs in life. Having duplicate copies of your most important data saved in a remote location keeps it safe in case something goes badly wrong. Having all your digital assets backed up only to the same location as your PC is great for protecting your PC, but it's not the ideal solution. I'm not trying to be an alarmist, but what if your home or office gets robbed, there's a fire, hurricane, tornado, flooding, or any other of these type of natural disasters, you could lose everything, your PC and your backups. But if your data was backed up to the cloud, then your data would be safe and secure in a remote location. All right, so let's get to the demo. Last time I showed you social media backup. This time we'll go to the cloud backup. So clicking on the Chevron for the cloud job, it'll show you that I can backup, I can restore, and I can also disable the job and enable the job. Clicking the Chevron will also close that panel. So the job is already set up with source, destination, and, and uh, schedule. But we'll go over it one by one. So on the source, you know, our program's called Backup Now Easy. We have an easy select. So we make it simple by categorying uh, stuff together. So we can cl click on multimedia and it'll back up all your pictures, music, and videos. It'll search your whole hard drive for those uh, files. Um, we can click on documents and it'll back up all your documents and then of course email and favorites. We also have a thing called custom select and that allows you to do the normal Windows Explorer tree view and I can drill down and go you know my computer, C drive, uh, users, I can go ray and then let's say I want to back up something on my desktop and I can use you know, my demos right but we're not going to do that this time let's just go back to uh, easy select in fact, on Easy Select, well, let me show you one other thing. On on uh, Options, what we can do is we can go in here, let's say on my pictures I don't want to back up, TIFF files or BMPs, I can deselect them or or I can choose them. You know, Same thing with music, maybe I only want to back up MP3 files, I can deselect the rest of them. Videos, these are the files that are, are predefined by us, right? On Documents, these are predefined ones, but you know, let's, for example, let's say you want to back up text files. So you could actually add that extension and just say add and you have an extension called text or let's say I had a file called ray for an extension I could add ray right but let's just delete those we're not going to be doing that one so let's remove them and remove them right all right so on this backup I'm going to make it simple I'm just going to back up uh, my word files and not my email and we'll say okay after you modify a job, it's always going to ask you to run the job. Would you like to start backup now? We're going to say no at this time. We're going to keep on saying no until we're ready at the very end, right? So um, now we'll go to the destination. So the destination, we offer four different cloud uh, destinations. Um, we offer uh, NTI Cloud. No, sorry, let me log out. It just wants to go into the NTI Cloud. Uh, NTI Cloud, Dropbox, Google Drive, and OneDrive. They all have different storage. NTI Cloud offers 16 gigs for a 30-day trial. Dropbox, I believe it's two gigs. Uh, Google Drive is 15 gigs, and OneDrive is five gigs. So a lot of free storage out there for you with our that you can use through our program. So let's go back to um, NTI Cloud, and we'll log in. So I'm going to log in with my uh, dog's email, Murphy McGoldrick at hotmail.com don't send uh, him an email he won't answer it he's not good at the computer with his paws and we'll log in and then it's going to ask you that the backup ne now easy needs access to your cloud account so we'll say yes and once you log in it'll give you a tree view of your cloud storage and if you click on the little triangle arrow it'll show you the other uh, folders on it you can actually click on make a new folder and then you can add a new folder but we're just going to back up uh, the information to Murphy's pictures on there and then uh, one other thing I want to cover um, besides the capacity alert where I can uh, start warning me have the program warn me when my uh, cloud is getting full 
So it'll warn me that uh, I need to buy more storage or I need to uh, clean up my uh, online storage and for the backups. Um, on NTI Cloud, we also give you the ability to do data encryption and compression. So uh, the other options, you know, uh, Dropbox, Google Drive, and OneDrive, they just do native file format uh, backups. So a Word document's a Word document. But here we'll encrypt it. So just in case, you know, you have your data up there on the cloud, um, keep prying eyes out of your stuff. So right now, um, I'm not going to do encryption. Murphy stuff's not that important, right? So we'll just do uh, uh, just capacity alert. Now uh, let's just set the capacity alert. It. I like it at 85. Anyway, and we'll go OK. And it's going to ask me to run the job again. So the last one is uh, schedule. So how often you want to run the backup? So it's good to run it periodically, right? So what interval do you want it to run? So you can do it, you know, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, or you can even do it on demand, which is just a, a manual backup, right? So I like a monthly for my cloud. Uh, you can start time, whatever start time you want. So I'm saying 7 p.m. and then any day of the month. So i will say the first of the month. Um, backup priority allows you to have the backup run faster, take more CPU time, but it might slow other programs down on your PC, right? Or you could have the PC run faster and the backup program would get less CPU time. It's just take longer to run the backup, but I'll just leave it at the default setting, right? And I'll click OK. And this time I'm going to go ahead and let it run the backup job, right? And it'll go from initializing to progress. You know, note some of our competitors tout that they can back up your whole hard drive to the cloud. That sounds good at first, but in reality it's not a good idea. The whole system could be hundreds of gigabytes of storage, OS, programs, data, etc., and backing it up over the internet is slow. So it could take many hours, if not days, to finish a large backup to the cloud. Now think of your hard drive crash. You need a, your PC up and running ASAP. No one's going to be willing to wait days to get their PC back up and running. Thus, this approach is not a good idea. However, backing up your data, which is likely to be only a few hundred megabytes, is very doable and well worth protecting remotely in the cloud. Okay, now that the backup is done, let me show you the restore process. So again, you click on the chevrons, open up the panel, and I click on the restore button. Um, now it's going to choose, you know, or you, you back up to the cloud, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, so it was into that cloud, so I have to log in again. And what's nice about Backup Now Easy versus our competitors is Backup Now Easy lets you back up and restore the same way. So restoring, you can back uh, restore by category. So I could restore all my pictures, and you don't have to go search for folders and, and stuff to, or files to back up through the tree view, which you still could do with ours. You can do, go through the custom select and drill down through the backup and find something, you, you know, your stuff. And you can actually search through our, we have a little search option here also. But easy select makes it, again, easy to do. So I just want to restore my, you know, I can do my Word documents and I can just restore them. I can restore them to original location. I could overwrite the original ones. It's going to warn me that you're going to do it, right? So overwrite. Or I can restore to an alternate location, you know, just to the desktop so I can see where I'm doing it, right? So let me go back to not overwrite. And in fact, let me just not do it that way. Let's go custom select. I'll just restore one file. So let's go into my documents. And um, there's my demo file. So I'm going to do my demo script that I'm doing right now. And I will restore it to the, origin, or the, to the desktop. So and I'll sit uh, restore. And then it'll start restoring. You should put a folder right here. There's the folder. And it's going to restore the one file. Right. So, and then once it's restored, it should happen really quick. See, it's done right now. So I'll click OK. And if I open up this folder, um, it'll show what the contents of C. And then it'll go users, ray, documents. And there's my file. And sure enough, it opens up in Word. And there's what I've been talking about. So let me close all this out. All right. So that's all for this demo. You know, check out the other parts of the demo series. Also, if you want to check out this program or any other programs, you can go to www.nticorp. That's corp.com. You can you can download a trial version and take it for a test drive. I bet you'll like what you see. Anyway, thanks for watching.